presents, 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 I went, uh, my, I, but the cream, I, there's two ones, I, I went to all the ones. Really? And my, my story... My, I had a wonderful time. And my story, my story is 100% true and it's real. And I'll tell it because I like telling the story. Please. please. My brother the night before, he's five years older than me, decides we're going to go to Altamont uh, with his friend David Morrison, who looks like a combination of uh, Bill Wyman and Charlie Watts, and his girlfriend, um, um, Benita. And the next morning we get up, and we hop in the car, and we get to Larry, and a rock breaks my brother's uh, gas tank. We wait for like three hours for a gas station to open. They fix it. We get to Altamont. It's late. It's already like noon. We just park the car, and we start walking. But what we don't realize is we walk in, and we don't walk in the back, uh, I mean, in through the audience. We walk through backstage. So we, we end up right next to the stage. See the whole show, see the Burrito Brothers, see Santana, see people getting beat with pool cues that are naked screaming, I want to play drums with Santana. <laughs> see Marty Balin of the airplane get decked. Um, when the Stone Star were right in front, and um, they, the Hells Angels, is, it, by this point it's completely frightening, and the Hells Angels is parked motorcycles in front of the uh, stage, and uh, one of them tipped over and they started you, it's in the film. I'm, I'm in the film. I've seen myself in the film. And they start chasing people. And I fell down. My brother pulled me up after I'd been run over a few times. I'm a little kid. We go go behind the stage. My brother hops on the stage to kick him off immediately. I stood on Keith and Mick's amp line and watched it the rest of the show. And when the set was done, I looked over at Charlie Watts, who I adored. And he had a crushed velvet jacket next to his floor tom. I tapped him on his shoulder and said, Charlie, you have your drumsticks. And he gave me his drumsticks and I have them to this day. Oh my God. And two weeks later, two weeks later, Rolling Stone issue comes out about Altamont. There's a giant photo of a blonde chick, an African-American guy, and staring right in the camera is my awesome brother. <laughs> and he's, just, he's in the Ultimate issue. So it was really kind of amazing. That is amazing. So, so you guys are planning to go to Ultimate and have the one lovely time? <laughs> no, it, was, it is, it, without a doubt, in any... Stab free, for any, sure. it, No, I'm, I'm actually in, in the Ultimate book that came out two years ago. There's a photo that says, you know, uh, Meredith, Meredith Hunter in green, and I'm two rows in front of him is me, my brother in the posse, and then Keith Richards is in the foreground. And it's like, this is just, it is, I, from any gig I played where we got shit thrown at us to seeing any other punk rock show, that is the gig, without a doubt, is the most frightening in my life. Oh, wow. Justin, what was your first show? Beat that. Uh, I can't beat that. <laughs> when I was seven, on my seventh birthday, my parents took me to see Shaka Khan. I only like the, I only like the one song. Hell's uh, Angels? <laughs> the Hell's Angels are out there. It, on, on she had a falling out with them. Uh, I don't know. Everybody was black, which was cool, because I was in Arizona, and everybody was pretty fucked up and racist there. But yeah, everyone was black and smoking weed, and I remember just thinking, like, what is that crazy smell? And me and my parents were super high. It was really fucked up. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as yours, but I was seven years old, ripped out of my mind with my no, parents. No, it's, it's just as bad. Uh, it's your story. Yeah, I get it. I yeah, no Hells Angels. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that was, like, my first concert. But uh, I, I attribute my first, uh, like, real one as the Cramps when I was 12. I somehow met them. Uh, I was, they, they were like, oh, oh. I said, can I get my t-shirt signed? And the, the usher, like, was like, you're little and cute, come on. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, okay, and she took my shirt and I thought like, oh, wait here. And she's like, no, 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 come here. And opens the door and they're right there and they told me to sit down and Poison Ivy kissed me on my cheek and I was like, holy shit, this is the, this is it, you know? And, and, and Lux was super chill and it was with Candy Del Mar and Nick Knox and the lineup was just stellar and I remember thinking like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna start a band now. This is like, this is it, you know? <laughs> that was that. It was much different than Shaka Khan and getting high with my parents. <laughs> Did you list yours? First concert? No. All right. Oh, that means it's an embarrassing one. 
It was my cousin's birthday, and I saw Sean Cassidy in Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. But the one I, I rave about, I kind of skip over that one, and always tell people that I saw Judas Priest open for Kiss, and my mom took me, and my grandma went. <laughs> Did she, did she get down? Was she like, oh yeah, she had cotton in her ears. We have, I have, there's pictures around somewhere. She has cotton in her fucking ears. And she, I, yeah, she was like, what the? But I had Gene Simmons makeup on. What's the oddest pairing any of you guys have been to at a show? Like, I feel like Justin someone... talked about Shaka Khan. I saw Rufus with Shaka Khan open for Leonard Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> and the... You know, speaking of like dangerous concerts, you've got a room with bikers and on one side, all, all of the coke sniffing soul brothers on the other side, <laughs> the soul sisters, uh, all of the the cowboys and the Laurel Canyon people, and it looks like there's going to be a brawl. It's going to turn into a massive fight, and once. Uh, Rufus and Shaka Khan started playing, the whole place erupted into just this incredible vibe. Like, everybody was there for one reason and one reason only, and that was to have a great time. Planet B. Planet B.